This is Jason DeBoard with the Original Prop Blog. Today I'm doing a quick update to an article published way back in May of 2010. So why am I looking at an article from May of 2010? Well, you know, sometimes questions come up about pieces that are in the marketplace, and a lot of times they're just never addressed. They remain questions, and they're questions that are never answered. So when I was doing those Roger Christian YouTube videos about the Luke Skywalker lightsaber that was up for auction earlier this month. There was a lot of discussions about that, obviously, a lot of discussions online, and there was some side conversations as well. Something came up with regards to this lightsaber, so I didn't want to pile on that discussion with something really that's kind of unrelated. So I wanted to wait a little bit to update this article with some more information. So Basically, just a quick summary of what this was about. There was this stunt lightsaber that came up for auction, and it was believed to have been used by the character of Darth Vader in Return of the Jedi, a production used lightsaber. And there were a lot of questions about it just because it resembled a lightsaber that appeared in an Energizer Bunny commercial that came out you know, over 10 years later. There's a lot of discussion about that on the replica prop forum, you know, the RPF. I happened to be in Calabasas doing a preview of this entire auction, this Hollywood auction, by Profiles in History. And I interviewed Joe Maddalena about that specific lightsaber. I had seen a similar lightsaber at Bob Burns' place in 2005, and I had some photos of that to compare. There were, like I said, some discussions on the RPF about this. I put up some photo compilations and comparisons, and I shared photos that I myself took of this lightsaber at the Profiles in History offices at the time. And um, basically, it was pulled from auction. Um, I just did a quick update at the time in the form of this reader comment. I just commented to my own article, so that was on June 8th, 2010, so it was about a week after I put this article up, it got pulled from auction, but still there were just a lot of questions about this. It was never really clarified um, to my satisfaction exactly what this lightsaber was. So as I mentioned, you know, I've seen different conversations regarding the Roger Christian lightsaber, and one of those conversations was on Facebook and it involved Don Bees, who was uh, at one time the archivist for Lucasfilm. So I'm going to jump over to his White Room Artifacts site here. So you can, if you're not familiar with him, um, I'm just going to read his little short bio here. It says, Don began his career working as a mechanical designer on the 1986 Academy Award winning film, The Fly, followed shortly after on The Fly 2. He began his career with the Lucasfilm operating the remote control R2-D2 for personal appearances and commercials while acting as the Lucasfilm Archives curator. As curator, he organized a number of exhibitions and eventually began working at Industrial Light and Magic on Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and Ghostbusters 2. He remained at the ILM model shop until it was sold off as Kerner Optical in 2006 as a supervising model maker. His credits include the Star Wars Special Editions, the Star Wars prequels, the Pirates of the Caribbean films, Galaxy Quest, Peter Pan, and countless television commercials. With White Room Artifacts, he conceived, designed, and curated the exhibition NASA A Human Adventure. And I actually met Don Bees once in um, Paris. I think it was somewhat surrounding an exhibition he was doing in Madrid at the time. Super nice gentleman, very knowledgeable. Um, he has a lot of experience, obviously, working with Lucasfilms, and I actually came across this short video, which I believe was an extra on one of the DVD releases, you know, way back when, but just to give you an idea here. Hi, I'm Don Bees, and this is R2-D2, and this is the Lucasfilm Archives. We have here all the original movie costumes, props, and models from the Star Wars movies. We'd like to take you on a tour. So basically, Don Bees was pretty involved with Lucasfilm um, way back when, uh, in terms of the archives. So 
So here's a little snippet from that Energizer Bunny commercial people were wondering about at the time. What is thy bidding, my master? There is a great disturbance in the forest. It is battery. If you only knew the power of the dark side. So basically, it obviously had some footage from Return of the Jedi and then some new footage kind of cut in to create this commercial. And this is what people were wondering about this lightsaber. But, you know, you can't really tell much from the quality of this um, video, but it looks it doesn't look like a stunt one. It looks metal. So that was always my question was the one that was in the um, auction was obviously a cast resin piece. So that's. So that was kind of the outstanding question. What exactly is this piece? So there was this Facebook discussion two weeks ago where Don Bees became aware of this lightsaber guide that I had put a link to in my first article about the Roger Christian lightsaber. So he made some corrections to that. And if you're not familiar with this um, guidebook, it's, it's really an awesome um, document, which is a free to download. I'll put a link in the article and in the description. And it's just got tons of information about the lightsabers used in the films. So Don Bees had come across this and he had some corrections on Facebook. And this is a um, personal Facebook page. So I didn't want to take information from that without permission. I didn't want to share what he was saying without permission. So I asked Don Bees if he could um, give me permission to share what he had written. And he said, yes. So I have kind of a redacted version of that discussion to share here. So as you'll see here, um, he basically goes through several pages with some corrections. And the one that pertains to the 2010 article that I put up regarding that Darth Vader lightsaber, he says here towards the bottom, so I'm just going to quote and read here what he wrote on this Facebook post. He says, In 1995, we created 18 Darth Vader costumes for Fox for promotions around the world. For Vader's saber, I molded a version of the saber that I made for the Energizer commercial to be used with the costumes. They were cast in resin. Years later, Profiles in History were selling one, trying to pass it off as a film-used Vader stunt saber. Then he says, FYI, I have the cutaway saber seen in the visual dictionary, as well as the hero Vader saber from the Energizer commercial. So he's basically saying that that lightsaber that was up for auction is a resin casting of this hero lightsaber he made for the Energizer commercial. So I just want to be super clear that I was reading his statement correctly below what he had said that I just quoted. I posted a comment and I said, Don, is this the Fox promo lightsaber you reference above? And I put a link to that video um, that I shot at Profiles in History where they're talking about that lightsaber. And then there are some other comments which I've blocked out here. Um, Don says, Jason Eboard, yep, that's it. So I respond to Don. I say, thanks, Don. I really appreciate the insights. I never knew exactly what the background was for that lightsaber. I would love to memorialize that information on my original prop blog somehow in the event another one of those appear up for sale again in the future. And then Don says, Jason, feel free to post the info. I say, thank you. So that's basically the scoop on that piece. I'm just reporting what he is stating. You know, he was the Lucasfilm archives curator at the time. He claims he made that hero Energizer Bunny lightsaber. And that makes sense that, um, you know, at the time people were saying that it looked like a casting of that lightsaber. And he's saying that's exactly what it is. So I just wanted to do a quick update to this just in case one of these appear up for sale again in the future. So people have a point of reference to do their own investigation and know that they can get in touch with Don Bees. And he says he actually still has the hero um, lightsaber that was made for that Energizer commercial. So you could actually do a direct one to one comparison um, if he was willing to share photos of that or or what have you. So that's just a quick update. Thanks for checking out this video. If you have any questions, you can you know post in the comments below, either on YouTube or on the um, original prop blog website article that will accompany this video. 
So again, thanks for checking out this video.